Welcome back to the Wichita Toy Train Club YouTube channel and today we're going to do a quick how-to video on the Lion Chief Universal Remote. So the Universal Lion Chief Remote allows you to control all of your Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus engines directly from one remote. So this gives you three separate preset options. Uh, you can program om almost, I won't say any, because there are a few uh, very early Lion Chief uh, RF uh, starter sets, some of the Thomas and like the, uh, I think the Pet Shop, I'm not 100% sure that they, they don't work on the same frequency and stuff with it. So those won't, you still have to use their separate ones, but this allows you to run uh, almost any Lion Chief engine. And now within the past couple of years, Lionel's been adding legacy, uh, sorry, Bluetooth to all of their legacy engines. So now we can run a Vision Line Challenger with this very simple, easy to use remote. As of the making of this video, which currently is December of 2019, we are on version 1.3 for the firmware on the Lion Chief Universal Remote. When updated to this, this gives us accessibility over uh, some bug fixes. And uh, as mentioned before, uh, we have legacy engines we can connect to as long as they have Bluetooth technology in them. Our RF original uh, Line Chief engines and all the Line Chief Bluetooth engines. But 1.3 also allows us to turn this into kind of a hotspot to allow us to see all the possible engines through the app of what it can connect to. Uh, so currently, uh, we can uh, our Santa Fe Hudson over there in the far. And on that far track is a our RF only uh, locomotive. We can put this into a hotspot mode and I can pull up my app and if all three of these engines are uh, on, I can see through the universal remote both, both challengers along with that RF engine. So then we can be start running our RF equipped Line Chief Plus engines with our app and that's really good for uh, a lot of kids, if uh, you've got grandkids or kids in general, that just really like the app experience, uh, that, that allows them to run any older Line Chief engines that way. Uh, real quick, we're gonna go over our updating process. So you can do this with either Apple or Android. You just have to download the uh, Lionel Updater app for the Line Chief uh, uh, Universal Remote. So go ahead and launch that and uh, this will come up and tell you exactly what you need to do in order to update uh, your universal remote. So start with the remote off. It came up and told us to uh, turn it on by uh, pressing all three of our engine select in, uh, buttons and then flipping it on. So I'll have Chris help me and do that. Let go of those. So as soon as it does that, it comes up with some more and says that the remote has already been on version 1.3. And uh, so we're all set. Now, if we was not already on 1.3, it would say you go ahead, it would say it was on 1.2 or 1.1 and say, do you want to update to 1.3? And you hit continue and it would uh, proceed with transferring the update. And once it told you it was done, you turn it off and uh, you're ready to run your trains. As you can probably tell by all the noise that's being made now, uh, we have track power on. Our uh, RF Line Chief Plus engine is beeping, and both of our Vision Line Challengers sounds have started up. Uh, I have no command base connected to this layout currently, so they are in conventional mode as of right now. And uh, of course, starting up in conventional mode, they are in a neutral state, uh, so there's nothing, no issues there. And so to connect to any of the uh, uh, possible engines, of course, on a legacy engine, make sure you have Bluetooth turned on if you have that option, or otherwise you'll have you won't be able to connect. We'll go ahead and uh, we go ahead and press one. I've already pre-programmed all the engines in here, so this is, I believe, the 3985. It sounds like it, and I have uh, full connection over uh, the engine along with announcements. Oh, it's actually 3975. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> Three should be the 3985. 
whistle blows. Cheyenne Yard Office calling the 3985. We're waiting for a work extra to get in the clear. Hold for my signal. Over. Uh, roger that. Holding on the orders. 3985 out. Now let's get rid of that annoying beeping and go ahead and hit 2, which I have connected to that RF engine. And this works just like all of your other Line Chief remotes now. But we can come back over here to the 3985 and throw our rear coupler. And we can do that on all these steam engines. So now that we're connected to three separate engines, now about controlling them from the remote. So right now I'm on the uh, Santa Fe Hudson with the uh, bright, the two being brighter rather than the one and three tells me I'm currently controlling the uh, number two engine, which is the uh, Hudson. I go ahead and I can turn this and I go forward. See now, if I wanna go back and blow the whistle on the 3975, I can hit one and still blow that without it taking off. If I go ahead and hit one again, it's going to take that same speed step and start taking off as well. Go ahead and stop that. And my uh, Hudson is still moving. So I'll go ahead and come back over here. Hit 2 again. It'll stop because I'm currently in a stop position. Go ahead and bring the Hudson back. I did not do that, by the way, on the 3975. I don't know how it did that. Go ahead and bring our Hudson back. I can stop it. Come back to 3975 and I can bring it back. I can stop it. So that's just in general operating with our Lion Chief remote. Now I have the remote back off. The Hudson is upset and beeping again. Uh, but now let's try to run that Hudson from the app. So if I go ahead and grab my app, grab this iPad here, come over here and launch the Line Chief app. Go ahead and open this up. And currently this actually only sees one of the two challengers. Oh, there's the other challenger. So we have both challengers. The app has not current, the Line Chief app itself has currently not been updated here recently with the most recent pictures. Uh, this is something Lionel has to do every so often is update all new product numbers with the new pictures and everything. Uh, so as, as of this time, there's not a Vision Line Challenger picture, so that's why we have that there. But I can go ahead and click on one and let's find out which one we got. Operator to the 3985. We're waiting for a work extra to get in the clear. Hold for my signal. Over. Copy that. Holding on your orders. 3985 out. And as you can see, we have the 3985. And this works just like any other time you're running the app. Just now we have a Vision Line Challenger. So we go ahead and we can bring it up. Hit reverse and we'll go ahead and bring it back. Quick and simple and easy. Go ahead and unconnect from that. The 3985. Cheyenne Yard Office calling the 3985. We're waiting for a work extra to get in the clear. Hold for my signal. Over. Copy. Holding on the orders. 3985 out. Seems that when you unconnect from a legacy locomotive, uh, it, that, uh, le that Bluetooth board sends one last crew talk announcement to the uh, legacy boards. So that's what we're hearing there. So now, put this in we'll put this remote in a hotspot mode that way we can get that santa fe hudson on our app so now we have to hit all three engine select buttons along with our shift button our announcement button so we're hitting four buttons at once and then turn on the remote now we have what dave at lionel calls a bloop 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 we have our uh, numbers uh, lighting up as we go across there we're gonna set this off to the side we don't need it anymore 
go ahead and bring up our iPad here. There we go. Open up our Line Chief app. Come in here to select an engine. And I don't know why it is now. Earlier, I did get the San a Santa Fe Hudson picture for it, but now we have a Lionel diesel locomotive uh, option. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And that is actually our Santa Fe Hudson. So now I have a uh, app control over the Hudson. I can hit the right buttons here. I don't think we can control the pitch. I didn't think so. There we go. Um, one other thing to note with the uh, app on Legacy Locomotives, you can't control the pitch of the whistle or bell either with Legacy Locomotives. But anyway, moving forward, I can go ahead and I can bring that Santa Fe Hudson forward. And as you can see, this is all with the app that we could not actually do earlier. A really cool innovation from Lionel. Do keep in mind while you are running this RF engine with the app, you do have to leave the remote on because we're actually piggybacking off of this. So our app is talking to our, line, our universal remote and the remote's telling the uh, Lion Chief Plus engine what to do. The Lion Chief Plus universal remote retails for right around $40. If you go through any good Lionel dealer, you might get maybe $5 off. Being $40, it probably won't uh, be much of a uh, discount on those. But for $40, you are able to run almost any Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus and now Legacy Locomotives directly from one single remote. In the description of this video, I will leave a link to Lionel's website on the Lion Chief slash Lion Chief Plus Universal Remote directly to Lionel's website. Uh, that way you can get all the information on this remote and the product number and everything. I will also leave a separate link down there and that will take you to the list of uh, sets and locomotives that the Universal Remote is unable to operate. It's a very, very short list, uh, but that way that is there for your disposal. This concludes our quick how-to video with the Lion Chief Universal Remote. Be sure to uh, like this video if it was helpful for you, and leave a comment down there for what you think thought about it and what you think about the remote. Be sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit the bell. That way you get all the notifications on our how-to and product review videos. Thanks for watching.